Hello beautiful people, so right now I'm going to the preceptor room to get my journal checked then I'll be going to the psychiatric ward and later today we also have our project work and I have a feeling that this is going to be a long long day so really let's see how it actually goes Hi guys, so right now I'm going to meet the patient. She has undergone now I think six ECT. So let us see how she's feeling today. बाबू रात करे मम्मी बीजी कोई तकलीफ थे श्वास ले तकलीफ ऊँग ना आती हो खोराक बराबर लेवाये भूख लगे लगे पानी पीता रह Guys, the patient is so so much better than uh, the first time that I saw her. The first time that I saw her, she would not speak anything. She would not give any information, anything like that. So that is an amazing improvement. Mom told us she would be checking our journal some other day, so we'll have to bring it again. And the thing is, it is so thick, so it I think weighs one point five kg, two kg, something like that. Hello beautiful people so surprisingly we are done for today uh, because we have psychiatric ward right now so there was just one patient in the ward and that patient also went for ECT and ECT takes at least 4 to 6 hours so we used all our uh, clerkship time for our project work so right now we are just going to the hostel like we have been dispersed originally we had planned to stay till 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock today but it is literally 12 it's not even 12 it's 11:45 and we are already free so yeah we are feeling so happy and even our clinical guide is happy with us that we have got the approval and from tomorrow onwards we'll start the data collection hi guys so i've got a gift from my masi it is this skin care hamper i'm so excited to open it also uh, i wanted to talk to you guys about my project so our project it is based upon pharmaco uh, assessment of risk factors and pharmacoeconomics in diabetic nephropathy uh, patients in tertiary care hospitals so we just got our approval last friday that's why we went today uh, to show our clinical guide about the letter and we also did some 
a project work during our first three hours during our clerkship clerkship hours itself because as i told you that we just had one patient so that's why this is the hamper this is so cute i'm so happy i i really wanted to try this face wash and this cream nivea cream that uh, one which you used to get in a blue colored uh, container it used to smell so good this doesn't smell like that cream but just a hint like that okay this is so good i love this and i'm going to use this face wash today night wow thank you so much marcy all right so this is it now i'll go for lunch because i'm super hungry so that is it for the video i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you soon next time same place bye bye hi guys i'm so happy my journal this is the next day by the way so i'm so happy that my journal has finally got checked only two cases out of the 20 cases but still it's a progress uh, and right now we are going to mrd to find the discharge summary of two of our patients and the three me series che three three so delay ye pehla kayo che mera 5175 फाइव एंड सेवन आई रे पा खाली फाइव एंड सेवन अच्छे बायपोलर मूड डिसऑर्डर hello beautiful people so i really wanted to discuss this amazing case of bipolar 1 mood disorder and one another case of psychosis with you guys and if you are someone who has watched the video until now then type or comment what are the different types of bipolar mood disorders and how are they characterized alternatively you can also write what is bipolar mood disorder according to you it can be any definition it can also be regarding whatever you have learned through various movies okay so this is a case of 22 year old female she was diagnosed with bipolar 1 mood disorder current episode was depressive uh coming to brief history a 22 year old married postpartum 5 month hindu female presented to psychiatric opd with her family members patient had recently took dama from psychiatry with diagnosis of bipolar 1 mood disorder depressive episode 1 week back after which the patient was off medication since 2 to 3 days and had worsening in complaint of a uh, persistent sad mood loss of interest poor interest and initiative in taking care of her child which was only 5 months old frequent crying spells frequent death wishes sleep disturbance occasional hearing of voices hopelessness helplessness and irritability she is known case of bipolar 1 mood disorder tardive tardive dyskinesia since 8 years episodic illness complete recovery between the episodes current episode is ongoing since 2 months and it has worsened since 1 to 1.5 months back there is no coughing cold fever head injury seizure loss of consciousness there was no complaint of fearfulness or disorganized speech or disorganized behavior no history of elevated mood increased talkativeness big talks increased psychomotor activities in 2016 the patient had first maniac episode starting 
till and started medications till 2017 october near complete recovery then patient was lost to follow up until 2018 in 2018 in june she was admitted again in view of maniac episode started on non uh, started on medication tablet valproate 900 mg tablet olanzapine 10 mg lorazepam 2 mg and discharge on moderate improvement in 2018 august admission in view of depressive features of low mood low motivation crying self harm thoughts along with ideas of reference valproate dosage increased adding of eripiprazole addition of eripiprazole olanzapine 10 mg remission started in 1 to 2 months from september 2018 till current episode the patient was settled and maintained on medications and did not have any major mood episode she was married in 2021 good response on lithium regular follow up until 2021 tablet lithium 600 mg tablet quetiapine 50 mg also comment what is the class of quetiapine quetiapine 50 mg since then the patient was lost to follow up and off treatment till current episode in 2023 family history no family history of psychiatric illness is reported on admission temperature pulse blood pressure uh, respiratory rate spo2 rs cvs cns per abdomen was all normal ecg was nsr nsr means normal sinus rhythm okay okay now regularly patient when patient was admitted this time they had uh, given her ecd and after fourth ecd ecd is uh, electrocompulsive therapy after ecg ecd patient had reported significant improvement in mood features death wishes and suicidal ideation rest of the hospitalization of hospital admission was uneventful total 6 ecd were run on the patient in a two week course and during ecd there was no side effect noted many times during ecd the patient can have seizure or crying spells or silent spells also which are called so such things can happen but nothing that sort of happened to this patient okay and during the during the hospital course of the patient she was given ecd Uh, and apart from that for medication she was given fluoxetine 20 mg in the morning after breakfast olanzapine 10 mg at night after dinner and tablet valproate 500 mg in the morning and afternoon on discharge the patient was given the same medications in the same dosage and at same time for 2 weeks now the thing here is that the patient is not she was not improving since uh, from medicines and her last admission was in 2021 after that she was lost to follow up until 2023 so a lot of time had passed and during that time we have no idea whether the patient had any similar episodes or not because it is not necessary that even if the patient had similar episode that she was admitted to the same hospital she might have gone to some other clinic or something like that and this time the patient also had a small child of 5 months and she was not able to take care of her child because of her own own illness that is the reason that ecd was given in this patient or else ecd is not given uh, so frequently or so normally in all the patients ecd is extremely uh, what can we say it gives results very nicely but in this patient we had to give ecd because of she had 5 months old patient and normally ecd is not prescribed on just any patient because there are also many side effects of ecd patient can have seizure patients electrolyte imbalance or uh, neurotransmitters imbalance stuff a lot of things can happen okay but in this patient we could not give her many other medications and lithium etc because the patient is a recent mother she, uh, her a uh, child was st- still dependent on mother's milk that is colostrum and the child needed the mother that is the main reason that ecd was given in this patient for her fast recovery and tablet fluoxetine olanzapine and sodium valproate was prescribed as discharge medication for her bipolar mood disorder the thing is when the patient was admitted she would not respond to anything when you go to her when you ask the patient in normally any patient when we go to them we uh, we greet them we ask them question they tell us they are oriented to time place and person this 
patient was oriented to time place and person but she was not able to respond quickly if you go and ask her then she will uh, react as if she hasn't heard you she will react as if she does not know what to say or she will just remain silent completely silent as if she is unaware that you have told her anything even though she is aware that you are there but she is unaware that you are asking her any question you had to ask her specifically or maybe uh, like tap her and ask her spe- hey i'm asking you like that but uh, as um, uh, as the patient condition uh, became good as more and more ect were done the patient was able to answer quickly upon questioning any type of question patient had better sleep etc you also heard one of a uh, little bit of one of my interviews that i did with the patient i could not record previous uh, previous days patient interview or else you would have really seen the difference that it made in the patient when she was given ecg as i told you when she was admitted she had she gave no response at all whom so ever would be talking to her but by the end of the treatment she was uh answering in a better way her mood had become better all because of ect and these medications so this was a case of 22 year old female who had recently been pregnant 5 months back she had a normal delivery and she had depressive episode of bipolar mood disorder and was prescribed ecd six cycles were needed yeah after sixth cycle she was discharged and fluoxetin olanzapine and sodium valproate were the medications with which she had been discharged so that is it i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then don't forget to like share and subscribe also in yet another video i'll be talking about one another patient of psychosis So stay tuned for that. Goodbye until then.